I have two carabiners hooked to my steering. I have two rods sticking out. Then I have some paracord running under my seat into two guides there, the two little black guides, one for the right and one for the left. And there you can see my control box. And then the power uh, cord going towards the head of the trolling motor. So that's what it looks like right there. Simple, simple, stupid, yet very effective. So here's the view from the rear. I will be placing my seat of the kayak onto the kayak. So in this setup, I'm not going to have everything, anything in the back of the seat. I'm not going to have anything under the seat because with prior experience, anytime you have anything out there, a jacket, it messes with some kind of steering. Uh, and also, you, I can't reach back there too much. I don't want to be turning around on this kayak. So there's my control box. I'll, I'll talk about that a little later. But that's the output side of my simple steering and those cables those cords are gonna they stay on there full time so i don't have to be messing with the cables or cords uh you know during the setup process everything stays as is so here i have some sandals some nice beautiful sandals that my beautiful wife bought for me last week she's she thinks my uh Old sandals were, were too old. So that's what basically you can do is just clip it to the back of your sandals. Here I found my an old sandal that I love using. <laughs> uh, my wife is going to kill me if she sees those sandals. But it's just a sandal that I found in a box. Wink, wink. But there you could just hook it to the back of your old sandal and just stick your foot into the, the sandal and use that as steering. Okay, this is just ideas that I'm throwing out. And your feet go where the feet are supposed to. Those, I guess, seat uh, notches. Seat, no, seat notches. I'm sorry. I'm a little out of it this morning. Foot rest, I guess. That you call them foot rest. And then that's how the paracord looks going towards the back. Very simple. And as you can see there, I'm not going to put anything on the bottom of my seat. I'm not going to put anything behind my seat. I don't want them to get snagged in any way. So, another idea you can do is, well, there I'm showing you how, how it, you can go to the right and to the left. All you have to do is slide your feet, your left foot forward or your right foot forward. It's very, very easy. There you can see my control box. Very simple. It's just an on off, on off. And I just have it set on high speed. My trolling motor had uh, two speeds, low and high, but I really don't use low too much. So there you go, just a control box. We're sending the signal to turn on high and turn off. Okay, here you have the tennis shoes that I used last week when I went to South Padre Island to test this steering out. And as you can see in the video I'm going to furnish at the end, this is exactly what I was using these tennis shoes. So you just sit into your kayak, hook on the left, hook on the right, and you're set to go. Whenever you want to move right, you move your right foot a little forward. When you want to move a little left, you move your left foot a little forward. Now, the one thing that concerned me as I was out there, right? I said, what happens if I flip over? My feet are going to be connected to the, tr the kayak. Then after a while, after my initial panic um, went away, I said, well, just take off your tennis shoes. Which is true. If ever, if I'm ever to flip, I go. I'll just flip off my tennis shoes. Anyway, they're on. They're loose. I really don't like to have any tight tennis shoes when I'm 
outer if I use tennis shoes. Another idea I had, well, some people like to fish barefoot. So what if you just put your, your big toe at the end of the carabiner? And then on your other side, also a big toe. I'm pretty sure that works because it's not really, you're not pulling a lot of, of tension. You're, it's not a lot of tension when you're pulling. So that's an idea. That way you don't have to worry about unclipping or taking off your shoes. You stick your big toe on one hole and put your big, big other big toe at the other hole and you're good to go. Now when you're done, all you have to do is unclip your carabiners and put it in that middle, uh, uh, what do you call it? Whatever you call it, that black, uh, that black thing is what I use for the, the tilting. I have a rope that tilts the motor forward and back. Okay, here's a look at my, oh, my very, very first steering, which worked awesome. It worked very awesome, but it was connected to the control box. So every time, I went fishing, I had to take off the carabiners and then I had to also run both uh, dog leashes, well it's one dog leash, to those uh, black keepers there. And I had a couple knots on each uh, rope, so it was a pain in the butt to, to uh, slip, slip them through those guides and it was a pain in the butt. So I eventually did away with this one. And also the box, as you can see, it's my original uh, switches. And you're talking about almost six, seven, eight wires. So it was a lot of splicing, a lot of heating up. My, my, my uh, connector started melting. So I did away with all those cables. So here you can see me out on the water and don't mind that monster flounder that you see there. Close to 20 inches, that guy. Well, anyway, I don't want to brag, but it's there. I mean, it's hard not to see. But here you see me in action. And again, this is the first time I take it out there using this setup. And I loved it because my hands are free now. My hands are free. Uh, if I wanted to take video with my action camera, I could put it on a selfie stick. If I wanted to fish or troll a, a lure, I could do that. Uh, le during the this time, I did measure my fish, which I thought was 21 inches, but I didn't get a good measurement until I got home, and it was more like 20. But yeah, my, my uh, hands are free, which I love. Right there, as you can see, the, I just move my feet slightly and it turns either left or right. You see that? With my right foot, I just go a little forward. I'm very, very comfortable. I'm seated in a very comfortable position. I didn't have to adjust anything. I was thinking that it might have been too short, the cables, or too long, but it turned out perfect. For that setup right there, perfect. I mean, I can cruise like this all day, just sitting back relaxed in my chair. When I want to go left, like there, I'm veering a little bit to the left, so my left foot is a little forward. I'm correcting myself there, going right. I just hope that flounder doesn't bite my right foot, and we'd be okay. So yeah, boys and girls, so here's some ideas. I know you guys, when you get a kayak, you want to add this, that, set up this and that. And that's what I did. I changed the steering, like this is my fourth time. Okay, the last time I had my steering, I had a rope under my seat, but I had to have my left and my right hand on it, always steering, correcting left, correcting right at the same time. So my hands were tied. I couldn't, I couldn't fish. I couldn't uh, take pictures. It was just a pain in the ass having my ties, my hands tied up all the time. So this, I really like the setup. I really, really do like it. And again, you see everything in my on the front of my kayak. I have my anchor there because I don't want to be tangling with the wires in the back. I got my stringer there. I got my measuring stick, my fish, my dip net, 
My battery is also in the front now. So I don't want anything behind me or under my seat. Cause I mean, it's a pain in the butt for me to get, you know, be turning around and looking back there. So yeah, that's about it. So if you like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you uh, share with your friends. Uh, and thank you very much. And remember, keep it simple. Thank uh you. -huh.